complete as Cotney was looking for Sebastian Verger, the senior from Bonaire, Georgia. Second down coming up for the Hawks. Second down. She wants to talk about a balanced offense. Huntington coming in this game averaging 202.4 yards on the ground, 204.5 through the air. Excuse me. Ball knocked away. Excuse me, folks. That's Wesleyan's defense. I had the wrong, wrong thing in front of me there. Huntington averaging 183 on the Look ground, out. 280 through the air. Charles Seas knocking down that ball. McReynolds in the backfield. Cotney looking to throw. Cotney's got a man on the outside. Caught. I believe that England is going to be short of the first down. Let's see where they spot. Pass complete. He will be short of the first down. down. So a good stop by the Wesleyan defense. It's going to be four down. Huntington running out the punt team. Zach Johnson listed as the punter. Timeout, West Ham. Timeout, Battling Bishops. All right, folks, let's take a quick TV timeout. We'll be back with more Battling Bishops football on WHIG TV. Thank you again to our donors and to Joey. All right, folks, we welcome everyone back here on WHIG-TV. Huntington going to be playing this football away, folks, and I did find out what happened now. And someone was just having to run players off. Folks, North Carolina Wesleyan has to take another time out. Let's say just trying to get the personnel right. Okay, folks, so going back to the earlier play, excuse your play-by-play -play announcer, I completely missed the football coming out. Apparently there was a fumble on that play. Zach Self had fumbled the football. Wesleyan recovered it. Then the penalty was assessed for the chop block, which is how the ball ended up back where it did. I personally don't understand if there's an illegal chop block how your the ball doesn't go back to the offense. But that's just me, folks. I've had confirmation from other people saying they have no idea what's going on. All right. Huntington gets the punt away. And Connor, excuse me, uh, Quentin Wright calling for the fair, fair catch. Fair catch made by number 18, Quentin Wright. Folks, Wesleyan just had to burn two timeouts on a punt return just trying to get the right people on the field. That could come back to burn them. First and them. 10, Wesleyan from their own 38-yard line. All right, ball on the 38-yard line. First and 10, battling Bishops. And Devin Brooks, the junior quarterback, is back out. He's been somewhat impressive thus far in this ballgame. Has the long touchdown pass to Elijah Love. 7-7 Seven -seven ball game. Hand off Anthony Bird trying to pick his way through the Huntington defense. Number 24, Anthony Bird on the carry. Wesleyan Lyman losing his helmet on the play. Gotta give the Lyman some love. That's 76. Lucas 
Giovinsanti, the freshman from Myrtle Beach. Second down. He'll have to sit out of play before he can come back in. Second down, Trevon Crank in the ball game for Wesleyan at running back number seven. <clears throat> Brooks rolling to his right. Brooks looking to throw. Has a man out there. Oh, a little high for Elijah Passing Love. Intended for number 11, Elijah Love. Love 6'3", 190 pounds. He's a big target. Brooks, it was a oh, nicely yeah. set up play. Would have been a first down with some extra. But Brooks has to get that ball down in his wheel basket. Wheelhouse, bread basket, whatever you want to say, folks. I'll mix all my metaphors for you guys today. Third down and five of the Bishops. Quick throw out. Whistle is going to be a pre-snap penalty, I believe. And it will be a penalty against Wesleyan. Or, excuse me, did they? Okay, folks, I think Wesleyan actually took their last time out. With 7.51 remaining in the first quarter. Time out on the field. The cheer team is hosting a blood drive on November 16th from 2 to 6 p.m. in the Taylor Center here on campus. Please check out the... All right, guys, take a look around the country. Air Force up 3 nothing early on Army. Still no score Ohio State Northwestern. TCU still 7 nothing on Texas Tech. North Carolina has scored. They trail Virginia 7-3. to Tulane up on Tulsa 7-3 in the first. Kentucky a 7 nothing lead over Missouri in the first. Texas A&M leading the Gators at 7-3. Nebraska up 10-0 on Minnesota. All these games in the first quarter, of course. Wisconsin, Maryland, Iowa, Purdue. Wanted to keep an eye on today. <clears throat> all right, so third down for the Bishops is they've used all of their first half timeouts here in the first seven minutes of the game. Quick throw, caught, Trevon Crank, Crank upfield. Crank's got a first down and more. He'll be driven out at the 46-yard line. Crank on the, on the reception. That will be a battling Bishop's first down. A little swing pass crank coming out of the backfield. Good job of creating space by the Bishop's. Ball at the 46-yard line. First and 10. And the Bishop's offensively moving about as good as we've seen them move this season. Inside handoff, Crank. Crank's not going to get anything. He might lose a yard. Handoff to number seven, Trayvon Crank. He will. Loss of one on the play. <clears throat> Excuse me. Loss of one, second down. <clears throat> second down, 11 coming up for the Bishops. Brooks, shotgun looking to throw. Brooks is going up top again. And he and Love had some miscommunication on that. <clears throat> Love cut off that route. It looked like Brooks was looking for a go down the sideline. Third and long coming up for Wesleyan. Let's hear the Vernon T. Bradley Jr. Stadium, the fourth and final home game of the season for the Battling Bishops. <clears throat> this fantastic brand spanking new facility. Brooks drops. Brooks looks to throw. Brooks down the middle of the field. Interception! Cole Dorn, the senior linebacker from Destin, Florida. Pass intercepted by number eight, Carl Dorn. Is it zero? Number zero, Carl Dorn. 
So Doran playing back in the zone comes up with the pick. And Hunting gonna have first and ten. Cottony throws out, caught, and chopped down. That was Sebastian Verger, the That's senior wide receiver. Sebastian Verger. Folks, some good things happened on that drive for Wesleyan. It looked like they may have had a big play set up, but they had a wrong route. And then the turnover. I like Brooks throwing, though. Just let him keep keep chucking. And a uh, big run by McReynolds. He's going to have it over the first down. He's going to get over midfield out to and the 49. He picks up a Huntington first down. Kari McReynolds, a 5'10", 190-pound junior from Geneva, Alabama. Ball at the 49-yard line. <clears throat> that was Huntington making the long trip up to Wesleyan for this ball game. They haven't really shown a ton yet. As I say, that Cottony over the middle incomplete. Pass just a little high for Michael Panariello, the senior wide receiver. Another Panama City Beach kid. That's not to say Huntington have looked bad. They just haven't looked overly sharp. Cotney looks to throw, throw, and another high one. That's it. That hit 19. Turner Wolf. Turner Wolf. It hit him in the hands. Pass intended for number 19, Turner Wolf. You feel he's got to come down with that football. Third down. Cottony checking sideline, makes his adjustment. He's got three to the right, one to the left. Cottony drops, looks to throw. Good protection. Cottony's airing it out. He's throwing into double coverage. But it is caught. Put it on the board. Connor Bradford. Pass complete for a touchdown to Connor Bradford. Coming Four down nine, with seven. the touchdown. A 48-yard touchdown strike. As Cotney goes up top to Bradford, he threw it in a double coverage, but he threw it exactly where it needed to be, and Bradford able to go up and make the catch. It's Will Edwards' extra point is good. 5.09 remaining in the first quarter. Huntington, 14, North Carolina Wesleyan, 7. An impressive drive from the Huntington Hawks. Oh, Huntington coming to this ball game. They've won seven straight. Once again, lost their opening game of the season to Linfield. Linfield at the time was ranked number seven in the country. Now they're ranked number five in the country. And that one was a 41-34 loss. That was a home game. Looks a week two win at Birmingham Southern. And then they turned it on. Big win at Guilford. Win against Bellhaven at Maryville, 42-28. Beat Brevard, 38-14. Went to Methodist. Had to, had to get out of Methodist with a tough one, 38-35. Then last week against Greensboro, a 42-0 win. The folks, they, go to, they host LaGrange next season to end the regular season. Anthony Bird up with the return for Wesley and Bird looking for some playing up front. Bird has a nice run We're back up to Anthony the 35 yard line. For the Bishops.
And Wesleyan will take over, down 14-7. First and 10, Wesleyan from their own 35 yard line. Devin Brooks has been solid. They missed a few throws and then the interception on the last one. Wesleyan has got to keep coming, though. It's not going to get easier in this ballgame. Anthony Bird the carry. This is a good Huntington football team, and they can beat you in a lot of ways. Wesleyan has got to try to keep pace in this football game. Brooks throws out, incomplete, overthrows his intended receiver. That was Ernie Revels, the fullback. Pass incomplete intended for number 19, Ernie Revels. Looks Revels, one of those seniors that we talked about earlier. This young man planning to become a Third state down. trooper upon his graduation. Coming from the grandson of a North Carolina state trooper. Great thing to hear. The state needs some good ones. Good luck to future Trooper Revels. Brooks looking to throw. Brooks escapes one. Brooks in trouble. He's going down back at the 36-yard line. And it'll bring up third down. Check that, folks. That'll bring up fourth down, fourth down for the Battling Bishops. Chase Corey in his double duty. He's going to be punting it away. That's one thing. Corey, for four years now, he has been a very good punter. Excuse me. In his time here at Wesleyan, has been a very good punter for the Bishops. Corey gets rid of it. That's a boomer. Fair catch taken back at the 23-yard line. And we'll see the Huntington offense. Let's see what Wesleyan can do now. 3.44 remain in the first quarter. It's 14-7, Huntington leading the Battling Bishops. First and 10 for Huntington for their own 23. Cottony fakes, looks the throw, caught. And Verger. Bring up second down. Cotton, he has Garner in the backfield. They're running the option. Cottony, keep it, and he will run out of bounds. He'll have enough for the first down. Him. By number six, Cotton. Got me. Quick throw. Caught. And Huntington looks like with the spot, they are going to get the first down. Dylan at Killingsworth, the junior on the reception. Dylan Killingsworth. First down, Huntington from their own 45. Personally thought it was a friendly spot, but spot nonetheless. Inside handoff, Garner going to lose yardage on that. Coming up on the hit for Wesleyan, that was Charles Sias, the senior linebacker. Second down. Stop. Charles Sias on the tackle. Sias playing his final home game. 
for the battling bishops. Native of Orange, Texas. Over Hills High School. Second and 12. Cotney looks to throw. Quick throw. Completion out to the 49 yard line. That is Turner Wolf That's on the catch. Number 19, Turner Wolf. Second down. Sias planning to get into coaching after graduation. Third down for Huntington. Cotney looks to throw. Cotney caught. And it'll be a first down for McReynolds. Pass completed to number one, Kahari McReynolds. The result of the play is a Huntington first down. McReynolds has been dangerous in just many different places tonight. And handoff this time, though, the Wesleyan defense right there to take down McReynolds. And for Wesleyan, it is 11, Tim Willis, the linebacker. And uh, 55, Case in Hartsfield, the freshman de defensive tackle, coming up with that. Laws on the play, second down. And, folks, that is going to bring the first quarter of play to an end. An exciting first That's quarter. Both first teams quarter. putting points on the board. Huntington leads it 14-7 over North Carolina Wesleyan, Wesleyan University. University. Uh, Let's we'll take a quick commercial break on WHIG TV. Fans, we, would we come back, like second quarter players. action, right Our here on the Battling Bishop Game Bishop of the Week. Bishop Chili Cook-Off. We had seven amazing chilies this year, and it was a very hard decision for our four All day. right, for you guys a at home, we are announcing the winner of the Chili Cook-Off. For taking the time to make this the best Chili Cook-Off in Bishop history. And a huge shout-out goes to our judges, Marcy Duff, Scott Cooper, Tony Sawyer, and Graham Nelson. Yeah, guys, I think I would have been great for, for the chili cook place, Winning $200. Could have been a... Uh, the Clan B. I could have definitely and been a so good, it's criminal. judge for this. And the winners. In first place, winning $300. The Chill Leaders. Somebody Thank had to get myself into this. Congratulations. Make a mean chili. Got to have those beans. Don't forget, folks. Got to have the beans in the chili. Just meat, meat, and spices. My, my colleague seen beside me does not uh, agree with my bean <laughs> take. My gracious. I might have to get into this competition next year. Just bring the title home. All right, folks, and welcome back our WHIG TV crowd. Second quarter underway. Battling Bishops football, Randy Randelson bringing you the action from the press box here at the Vernon T. Bradley Jr. Stadium. Cotney throws off his back foot. Incomplete. Good pressure up the Pass middle from Wesleyan. For number one, Kahari McReynolds. I was looking for McReynolds. Folks, uh, is our live crowd heard? In between the commercial during the commercial break, uh, the fourth Ready annual chili cook-off here at North Carolina Wesleyan happened today. Big congratulations to the winners, the Chill Leaders. Chill Leaders getting the getting the big win today here at Wesleyan. They didn't send the television announcer a bowl of chili but you know <laughs> whatever i'll give you guys love throw down the middle incomplete that's incomplete looking for kyler cheney that's intended for number 12 kyler cheney and to bring a four down and hunting and gonna have to pump the football away wesleyan defense has made a few step ups today they do it again here they force the punt Is a cloud scraper as it will bounce out of bounds. Good punt. 
you'd have to say, for Huntington. And ball going to be spotted. It's like about the 12 yard line. Punt out of bounds. Ball will be spotted at the 12 yard line. First and 10 for Wesleyan. It's first 10. Bishops come out. It's an interesting first quarter for Devin Brooks. He hit on the big touchdown pass. He's made some good throws. Had a few drops. Had a few where a better place ball probably gets you some nice yardage. But I'll give it to Wesley, and they are definitely trying to open up this offense. Brooks, inside handoff, looking for running room. That is Anthony Bird. Bird going to have a nice pickup on first hand. Anthony Bird carrying. And Bird picks up nine on first down, bring up second and one for the Bishops. Second and short for the Bishops. Off to Bird. Bird putting his head down. He'll move the pile forward. It'll be a Bishop first down. Bird's still on his feet. Bird on the sideline. Bird's over the 50. And he will and finally be knocked Bird. out of bounds. Bird out all the way to the 50 yard line. Looks a little like Bird had picked up enough for the first down easily, but then Bird just kept flying. All right, they're officially going to mark him out at the 48 yard line. A very nice pickup for Anthony for the Bird. Bishop. 48-yard line. 1st and 10, Wesley. Shotgun snap, handoff, Bird. Bird puts his head down. I will never doubt Bird again on a run. Number 24, Bird again on the carry. Bird up to midfield, gain a two on the play. Yeah, will bring up second down and eight second for Wesley. Second from midfield. Check that from the 49-yard line. Well, let's give it on the play. Second and seven for Wesley. This next week, the Bishops in their regular season, in their season at Greensboro. It's a good in-state rivalry game here to end the season. Brooks looks to throw. Brooks puts it up. He's going to love. Oh, Love, unable to bring it in. Incomplete pass intended for number 11, Elijah Love. Good defense from Huntington, Tyrell Davis, Markel Jordan, the two defensive backs that were out in the route. Third and seven. Love in motion. Brooks, quick throw out of the backfield. Flips it to his running back, Miles Martin, the freshman from Easley, South Carolina. Martin. Martin picks up about three yards on the play. It's not going to be enough. It's going to be four down four for down. the Bishops. Wesleyan looking like they're leaving the offense on the field. Folks, if you want to upset a top 25 team, if you want to upset the best team in your conference, you have got to take some chances. Here we go, Wesleyan fans. Got to take some chances. Now, the big thing on those chances, you got to hit on some of them. Love and motion. Movement up front. Not enough to draw the flag. And there is a flag coming down. Looks like it's going to be a delay of game against the Bishops. Uh, no, Wesley was out of timeout, so, yeah, Chase Corey running out. It was a hard count, Wesley, and trying to get Huntington to jump. Delay a game. There was some up-front movement on Huntington, but it wasn't enough to draw a flag. Four down will be Chase Corey kicking it deep. Tyler England is the return man. Mm -hmm. 
Wobbly punt by Corey, not his best. Does take a Bishop bounce. And we've got a late flag coming in. I believe we're going to have a taunting call against Wesleyan. Flag on the play. Still waiting for the call from the official. All right, let's check it. That uh, personal foul is actually going to go against Huntington. So the Bishops get a break. First and 10 for Huntington from their own 11. Ball spot all the way back at the 11 yard line. First down, Hawks. Cotney looking to throw. Cotney's going to keep it. Cotney looking for some running room in the middle of the field. Number six, Cotney on the keeper. He'll get out to about the 19. It's 11.50 in 14, Wesley in 7. Flag coming from Judge. Number one, Nick Reynolds, there is a flag on the play. Our official call from the White Hat. An illegal chop block against Huntington. Illegal chop block against Huntington. So no loss on the play. Huntington not doing themselves any favors right now with the penalties. Cotney going to keep it again, looking for running room up the middle. He'll find some. Number six, Cotney on the carry. So he'll get out to about the 19-yard line. Third down. Cotney, keeper, he's looking to run himself. Looks like he gets to about the 20. Ball comes out on the way down. I believe he was down. Looks like Landon Cotney once again on the carry. <laughs> it's Cotney's about a yard short. It's down. Looks so like they're going to bring out the punt team. Number 18, Quentin Wright back to receive the punt for the Bishops. Sack Jackson to punt away. Quentin Wright's the deep man. <clears throat> and actually, folks, they're going to bring out the measurement just to make sure. So Hayden is about a length of the football short of the first down.
<clears throat> Snap and punt. Not a great punt. Did someone get a hand on that? I don't think anyone got a hand on it, but it was not a great punt from punt Zach Johnson. At midfield. Ball goes out of the 50-yard line. Battle and Bishops take over 9.58 to go in the first half. All right, ball spot in midfield. Brooks. He's in shotgun. He's got Bird behind him. There's the handoff to Bird. Bird slips one tackle. Can't slip the second one. He's going down. And they're going to give him officially a loss of three on the play. Number 24, Anthony Bird on the carry. Tackle for a loss. Clean and defense ball came flying play, through. Second yard line. Second down. Inside handoff, Bird again. Number 24, Anthony Bird, once again on the carry. Bird not making much headway. May have gained about half a yard on that play. It'll bring up third down as we're under nine third to go down. here in the first half. This is just the start to a big day of college football in the South. Brooks in trouble. Brooks throws it. Incomplete pass. It will be an incomplete pass. No flag on the play. It looks like he was trying to get it to someone. So an incomplete pass does save Wesleyan for the moment, but it'll be fourth down. Battling Bishop's going to have to bring out... Chase Corey to put it away. Folks, this is the appetizer at 3.30. Little thing in Athens, Georgia today going on. Tennessee taking on the Georgia Bulldogs. We'll call that the main course. And then tonight, Alabama traveling to Death Valley to take on LSU. We'll call that one dessert. Eight twenty three remain in uh, first half. Cotton back on the field. Huntington leading Wesley in fourteen seven. Handoff to Troy Gardner. Not much of anything going there. We're putting Troy Gardner on the carry. Second down. Connie with Garner to his left. After for Turner Wolf. Pass for Turner Wolf. And back just past the original line of scrimmage. And he gained a couple under that. Third down and eight coming up for Huntington. Third down.
Cotney looks to throw. Cotney steps up, throws to the sideline. Had him in. Tyler England was by himself all day. Cotney sailed the throw. For seven, Tyler England. Fourth down. It'll bring a fourth down. That'll bring Johnson out to punt it away. Deep man for Wesley and Quentin Wright. The junior from Bunn High School in North Carolina, Bunn, North Carolina. Good punt by Johnson. All right, Wright takes it to 35. Wright slips a tackle. He'll get himself up to Not about Richard, the 36. Really and, folks, we're going to take a quick commercial break at home for HIG TV. 650 remaining in the second quarter. Huntington 14, North Carolina. Game of the week. You folks at home are about to, you folks listening on the live stream are about to see the magic of uh, recorded television because we're going to bring it back now for our WHIG TV crowd. Let's see how those commercials work. Just fantastic. Folks, welcome back here to Vernon T. Bradley Jr. Stadium. Second quarter action. Wesley with the ball back. Handoff to Martin. Uh, Martin going to lose a yard on the play. And it'll bring up a second down. Second down. As this game has gone on, Wesleyan has slowed their pace. Devin Brooks show going through the air. As looks to throw, throw. Let's see if they're going to give it to him. They will throw and complete to Caleb Logan along the sideline. Pass at number 82, Caleb Logan. The result of the play is a Bishop's first down. It was good defense, folks, for about the second or third time in this game. Brooks has put a ball where only his man can make a play. Logan goes up, makes a play with one hand, brings it in, and a big Bishop first down there into Huntington territory. Handoff. Martin look. Harry. No gain on the play. Bring up second down. Second down. Snap, handoff. Looking for right room still on his feet. <clears throat> and I believe was that, that was Trayvon Crank, I believe, with that carry. For third down. He'll make it third and three. Man in motion, that's Jaden Spruill looking for a quick throw. Oh, Crank unable to come up with it. Intended for number seven, Trayvon Crank. That was a forward pass, so it goes down as an incompletion. <clears throat> Crank couldn't quite get himself turned. Wow. And then Brooks has thrown just a hair behind him. It looks like Wesley going to bring on the punt team. It will be Corey. Fourth and three, four fourteen to go here in the first half. Huntington fourteen. Wesleyan, some of those Wesleyan will get the ball first in the second half. A lot of credit today to the Wesleyan defense. They have held this high-powered Huntington offense in about as good a check as you can. Only giving up fourteen points. Two long pass plays have been the killer. Corey, nice punt in the short yardage situation. Takes a bounce. And Wesleyan going to touch it down at around the 12-yard line, I believe. 
Well, folks, it might be better than that. It might even be down around the six. Let's see where they're going to spot that. I believe it's going to be. Nine yard line, first and ten. Caught me. Keeper, he's looking to run it himself. He might got like Landon caught me on the quarterback keeper. He may have gotten a yard on that. And we have a Huntington. All right, guys, one of the big linemen down. We'll keep an eye on and make sure he's able to get up and out. Folks, here we go around the country. Halftime Army leads Air Force 7-3, to three, folks. The power is on the ground, not through the air. I've tried to tell people that for years. Folks, now if this holds, I wouldn't be an unhappy person. Second quarter. Hand off McReynolds. Once again, around right side, McReynolds puts his head down. Nice carry for McReynolds on first down. He's going to gain about eight as we come up on the three-minute mark. McReynolds once again on the carry. Well, let's give McReynolds about seven, maybe. Second down. All right, give him six. What the heck? Second and four. Inside handoff, McReynolds. Kahari McReynolds again carrying. McReynolds about a yard and a half, and that's going to be third down third for Huntington. Looks early on, this Huntington offense looked like it was going to be an unstoppable force today. The Battling Bishops have made some nice adjustments, though. And off. that's Garner. Garner puts his head down. He's going to have enough for the first down. Up over the 30, out to about the 34-yard line. Number <coughs> 28, Garner on the carry. And that will be enough for a Huntington first down. All right, under two to go in the first half. Huntington 14, Wesley in seven for Huntington. If they can get one on the board here. That would be big for them, Wesley, and if they can get a stop, that would be huge. They're going to get the ball to start the second half. McReynolds. McReynolds going to lose yardage on that, and it was Charles Sias, senior linebacker. Tackle for a loss by Charles Sias, number two. Huntington are not in a hurry. 
I was expecting an offense that averages nearly 40 a game. I was expecting to see maybe a two-minute drill here, but Huntington. Keeper Cotney, he's not getting much. Number six, Landon Cotney carrying. I don't know if Cotney got back to the line of scrimmage. Those were under a minute to go. And an offside penalty against Wesleyan. Offsides against Wesleyan, five yard penalty. We will replay second down, 57 second seconds. Down. Clock running. Once again, Huntington doesn't seem to be in that big of a rush. Fake. Cotney's in trouble. He's going down behind the last scrimmage. Sacked on the play. And it looks like it is 11 for Wesley, and that's Tim Willis, the linebacker, bringing the heat. Tim Willis, number 11, with a sack for the Bishops. And now, folks, Huntington, they do have to run one play just for timing purposes. I suppose Wesleyan just need one more stop. Sias, pressure, throw down the middle, caught. And down to the 32-yard line. Reception by number 12, that's Kyler Chaney. Number 12, Kyler Chaney with the reception. With two seconds remaining, Huntington going to take a timeout. Timeout, Huntington. Folks, for the Hawks, you, you've almost got to think, wow, if we had shown any sense of urgency on this drive, you might have something. But now they've got one play with two seconds left from the 33-yard line. Hey, we'll see what happens. But for Huntington... You've got to have in the back of your mind, maybe this was a missed opportunity. All right, it's so time out on the field. And yeah, it looks like they're actually going to send the field goal kicker out. Will Edwards, the junior from Gadsden, Alabama. This will be a 49-yard field goal. Snap, hold, kick on the way. It is way left. No good. Is no good. That is the end of the first half with the score. And Huntington. Huntington, seven. Huntington wanted a penalty on that because Wesleyan was running. Oh, folks. I believe we're going to have a replay of this down. Wesleyan did not have all. Wesleyan had 12 men on the field. No one ever threw a flag. Folks, Wesleyan was trying to run a player off the field, and they did not get him off in time. Huntington were pointing it out. They were furious for a moment there. Edwards' kick was nowhere near it. All right, folks, so they are going to replay the down. Five yard penalty. 49 yarder becomes a 44 yarder. And same result as Edwards' kick Edwards is Edwards no Edwards good. Edwards Alright folks, so we hit halftime. Huntington 14, North Carolina Wesleyan University 7. The Battling Bishops holding their own today against the nation's 21st ranked team. Folks, we're going to take us a timeout for you guys on WHIG. You'll watch a couple commercials when you come back. We'll have the second half kickoff. You guys are home on the live stream.
G T V. Welcome back to the game of the week. Welcome back to everyone on our live stream. Coming out of halftime, Huntingdon leading North Carolina Wesleyan by a score of 14 to 7. And for Wesleyan, their last half of the season, they'll play here at the Vernon T. Bradley Jr. Stadium. The brand new Vernon T. Bradley Jr. Stadium, a beautiful facility for Division III college football. You would figure being November 5th, it would be a nice, cool, crisp autumn day. It's, it's 80 degrees outside. We're in shorts and T-shirts and trying not to sweat ourselves out of the ballgame. <laughs> All right, folks, here we go. Ball game back underway. And kickoff going to go through the back of the end zone. So the Battling Bishops will come out Touchback. first to start the, the second half. The first to 10 from their own 25-yard line. So in the first half, we saw Devin Brooks start off the ball game airing it out. Wesleyan went more and more toward a ground and pound as the half went on. Brooks with the early touchdown pass, the only Wesleyan score of the game. Defensively, the Battling Bishops have held up very well in the ballgame thus far. Handoff right side, Trevon Crank getting the first carry of the second half. Number seven, Trevon Crank on the carry for the Bishops. And Crank looks like he'll pick up a couple of yards on the play. Bring up second down and eight for the Battling seven Bishops. Folks, this Huntington team, they average just under 40 points a game offensively. Wesleyan have held them to 14. Folks, uh, Huntington is giving up 22 a game. Wesleyan was seven thus far. Wesleyan giving up 37 a game defensively, so they are really holding their own defensively. Brooks looking to throw. Brooks steps up. Brooks in trouble. He's flushed. Brooks out to the right side. He'll be out to 27-yard line. Quarterback Devin Brooks on the carry. Third down. Let's give him the 28-yard line. Third down and seven coming up for the Battling Bishops. Brooks, man in motion is Corey. Gets it off to Crank. Crank has some work to do. Stays on his feet, but he Number will be well short of the first down. So he'll get out to about the 29-yard line, and Corey will stay on the field to punt it away. Corey to punt it. England is the return man. Decent punt from Corey. It'll bounce to the 40, and secondary bounce does go in for the Bishops. It'll be down at the 36-yard line. Huntington will take over first and Huntington 10. Down the 36-yard line. Huntington takes over first and 10. Landon Cotney, the uh, senior quarterback for Huntington, has shown some flashes in this game. He's thrown some nice balls, has a pair of touchdown passes, has shown some scrambling ability. But for whatever reason, Huntington has not really been able to put it all together today. Kahari McReynolds, number one, the running back, has been a constant threat for the Hawks. Cotney, throw out into the flat. Completed to 14, that's Sebastian Verger. Pass completed to number 14, Sebastian Verger. And looks like Verger picked up about four yards on the throw. Second down. Second down coming up now for Huntington. Throw it out in the flat. Caught once again. Verger. Verger fights his way upfield. He's going to have the first down. 
Pass call by number 14, Sebastian Verger. Berger, a senior, 5'9", 170 pounds, out of Bon Air, Georgia, veterans high school graduate. And he seems to be uh, Cotney's favorite target in the short game. He's targeted him a number of times this afternoon. Hawks on the move, handoff, McReynolds, McReynolds over midfield, McReynolds going to fire his way forward, he should have enough for the first down, looks like he will. That will move the sticks. McReynolds carrying. And that will be another Huntington first down. And McReynolds again going left side, patiently looking for something. He's not going to find very much. McReynolds with the end run. Gain of a yard on the play. Second down and nine. Cotney rolls his right throw. Bobbled but caught. That was Killingsworth with the catch. Killingsworth will give forward, bring up third Last down. Last by number 11, Dylan Killingsworth. Third and short. Third and two coming up with the Hawks. Bishop defense looking to make a big play. And off McReynolds, he bounces off, finds his way to the outside. McReynolds down inside the 10, still on his feet. And he's going to be tackled down around the six-yard line. A big run for Kahari McReynolds. That will be a first down for Huntington. Battling Bishops now with their backs against the wall. Ball on the six. So we've seen some of the strength of this Huntington offense on this opening drive of the second half. Handoff, McReynolds. McReynolds puts his head down inside. McReynolds still on his feet. He's going to be inside the five down to uh, the three-yard line. McReynolds running it up the middle. He may have gotten to the two on that. Second down, and goal from the three-yard line. Cotney hands off McReynolds right side, cuts up field. He's going to be short of the end zone. Third and goal, ball on the one. Third down, ball on the one-yard line. Let's see if Wesleyan can make something happen. <clears throat> Hand off McReynolds. McReynolds is hit. Sia stands him up. Maybe a loss of a yard on the play. And a big stand from the Wesleyan defense is going to bring out the kicker for Huntington. Will Edwards. Edwards missed a field goal at the end of the first half. His second attempt. Both teams have missed field goals today. Snap. Hold. Edwards. Kick on the way. It's good. 732 remaining. 
they still got the clock running. 732 remaining in the third quarter. Huntington extends their lead to 17-7 over North Carolina Wesleyan. Folks, let's take a quick commercial break for you folks at home on WHIG TV. We'll be back with more of the Battling Bishops Game of the Week on WHIG TV. All right, for our folks at home on the live stream, halftime. Here's one. Hold on to your hats. Apparently, they're playing in 40-mile-an-hour winds today. Ohio State Northwestern tied at 7 at the half. Number two team in the country not quite living up to that. Texas Tech at the half. North Carolina trailing Virginia 14-10 to 10 at the half. Tulane up 17-10 on Tulsa. There's your ranked teams. As we bring it back here on uh, WHIG TV. Bishops. Big defensive stand for Wesleyan. As the kickoff will sail out of the back of the end zone. It'll be a touchback. Bishops will have the ball first and ten from their own 25. There's a little extracurricular activity going on after the play, but no flag thrown. All right, so Wesley going to start the 25-yard line. Folks, we do have our sponsors here for the second half. Piedmont Service Group, Brain Specialty, the Keith Stone for Share of Re-Election uh, Campaign. Folks, early voting is finishing up. Folks, don't forget November 8th is the big one. Bozeman Farms, BSN Sports, Taylor Financial Strategies, and a nice cold Pepsi. Devin Brooks with the handoff. Handoff to number seven, Trayvon Crank. Crank with the carry. And we've got a Huntington Official player timeout. down on the field. Injury timeout. And we're going to have an injury timeout on the field. Folks, for you guys at home, looks like uh, looks like a cramp. They're out there working out the calf. <clears throat> Whew, so what is going through the head of some of these college football playoff people at halftime? As I said, Ohio State 7, Northwestern 7. Of course, week one of the college football playoff also always brings a complete insane reaction from many fan bases. Ohio State being number two, they're not looking like the number two team in the country. Georgia fans mad that they're number three. Guess what? You play the number one team in the country today at 3.30, so you can easily restate that claim with a win. Georgia, Tennessee, whew, that's going to be something. Looks the game that used to be the biggest game in the country tonight at 7.30, Florida State against Miami. It's one they used to be appointment viewing. Now it's like, oh, yeah, that's on. All right, folks, back from the injury timeout. Devin Brooks. Man in motion. Brooks looking to throw. Brooks lets it loose. He's got a man outfield. It's picked. It's picked. Jaden Sproul. Maybe you were looking for Sproul to come back to it. Number three, Sproul with the, with the interception. Looks Tyrell Davis, the senior uh, corner from Opelika, Alabama, coming up with the pick. Excuse me, senior safety. Comes up with the pick. <clears throat> and the Battling Bishops once again asking a lot of their defense. Cotney, keeper, coming on the right side. Oh, he flips it. No, it's picked up. It is picked up. Charles Sias. Fumble and recovered by the Bishops. Cotney tried to run an option at the last second. That ball may Recovered have gotten tipped. Charles Sias. No. Are they, did they just call that an incomplete pass?
If I'm Jeff Filkowski, if this stands, I'm not ending this game on the sideline. That's one of the more ridiculous calls I've ever seen in my life. They just called that an incomplete forward Correct. pass. Now, well, it is being ruled an incomplete forward pass. Huntington still has possession. Whew. All right. So incompletion on first down. What looked very much like an old Nebraska-style option. Cotney rolls his left pass complete. And Verger comes up with the catch. Number 14, Verger. Tough break for the battling bishops. They were going to have the ball back in really good field position. All right, third down and two. Hey, folks, that time it's an option pitch to the right side. Garner into the secondary. Garner's going to have enough for the first down. Number 28, Troy Garner on the end around run. And that will be a first down for Huntington. Ball on the 32. Let's give a tough break for Wesleyan. As now they're back against it. Cotney, Garner going around right side. Garner puts his head down, cuts back in. Garner with a nice run. Number 28, Troy Garner again running it for Huntington. Garner's second leading the rusher. The play will be a first down for Huntington. Coming into this ball game, second leading rusher on this Huntington team. Came in with 224 yards on the season, five touchdowns. Folks, Kahari McReynolds came in 9:15. I believe McReynolds may have eclipsed the 1,000-yard mark in this game. Hand off Garner. Garner may have gotten a couple yards. Hand off to number 28, Troy Garner. Second down. <laughs> Four and a half to go here in the third quarter. It's 17 7, Huntington leading Wesleyan. <coughs> Excuse me. Garner out to the right side of Cotney. Cotney, keeper Garner trying to give him a block. Doesn't get a very good one in. Quarterback number six, Landon Cotney on the keeper. Good job by Wesley in blowing it up. It Jalen Thomas, a freshman it's safety. Third down. In on that play. As was Case in Hartsfield. Third down, Bishop fans. Let's hear it for you, or Bishop D. Big third down with the battling Bishops. Third down and eight. Let's see if they can get a stop, force another field goal attempt. They're bringing pressure. Throw, caught. It's going to be enough for the first down. That was Killingsworth on the catch. Uh, reception made by number 11, Dylan Killingsworth. So a big third down play by Huntington. They get the first down, and Huntington they are... Up a first down, first and goal. Trying to find the football. I believe they're down at the one-yard line. It looks like they're spotted around the three. Hand off, Garner, right side, Garner trying to stretch it, Garner, don't believe he made it, did Before not make Garner it. On the end around run. Flag is down on the play, let's see what Flag that's going to be. Play. It's going to be holding against Huntington. Holding on against Huntington, 10-yard penalty. So that's going to come back. Still first down. Thank <laughs> you. 
Cotney with a keeper. Cotney trying to get a corner. He will cruise into the end zone. Huntington touchdown. Number six, Landon Pappy. Running it in for a touchdown for Huntington. Landon Cotney on the keeper. And for Cotney, that'll be his sixth touchdown on the ground this season. Extra point is good. Huntington now leads 24 to 7. Next point is good. 24-7. Huntingdon leads it with 2.50 to go. Timeout on the field. Express a sincere thank you for attending today's game on Stallings Field at Vernon T. Bradley Jr. Stadium. The stadium campaign is completely donor funded, and we are so gracious to the donors who made this happen. This completely new turf field and lights will allow our sports teams to get the full college game day experience. We look forward to future phases being completed in the coming years. Again, welcome to Stallings Field at Vernon T. Bradley Junior Stadium. Huntington going to get ready to kick it off. Folks, it is senior day. It's homecoming here at the Vernon T. Bradley Junior Stadium. Stallings Field here on the campus of North Carolina Wesleyan College. Folks, it was supposed to be homecoming last month. And uh, that little hurricane blew through. Kind of messed some things up that day. So we're getting a late homecoming and combining it with senior day. Kick down the field. And bringing out of the end zone is Quentin Wright. Wright looking for some running room. He's got some. He'll get up to about the 30-yard line. On the kickoff return for the Bishops. Well, let's give him the 31-yard line. So a good return for Wright. Gets Wesley in about six more yards. And the battling Bishops will come back and take it over. First and 10 for the Bishops from their own 31. Early on, this Wesleyan offense was making some things happen. It has bogged down. Crank. Not finding much running room. Number seven, Trayvon Crank on the carry. It's between Anthony Bird, Trayvon Crank, Wesleyan have some solid running backs. But you have got to be able to throw the ball just enough to give them some room to run. Second down. And since the passing threat has gone away. Wesleyan has not really been able to run the football effectively. Got to give that defense a break, folks. This is a warm day in North Carolina. Hand off right side to Crank. He's not getting anything. He might have got back to the original line of scrimmage. Number seven, Trayvon Crank again on the carry. And now third and long, and this is what's killing Wesleyan, these predictable third and third longs. Down. Brooks has two wide to the left. One to the right. Brooks looking to throw. Brooks steps up. He's going deep. He's got a man downfield. Pitt. Intercepted. A fantastic interception by number 41. Check that. Was that 41? That is 41. Tucker Spence, the junior linebacker from Uriah, Alabama. That was a highlight reel pick for Spence. He was going back, made the catch. Honestly, for Wesley, and you can almost look at that like a long punt. First and 10 from their own 31. They were going deep to Quentin Wright. That's a few times now. A couple of these interceptions, the Wesleyan receivers have got to help their quarterback out. They've got to adjust back to balls. 
We've seen that happen a few times today with a couple interceptions that Brooks has thrown. And off right side, Garner going to lose yardage on it. Number 28, Troy Garner on the carry. This Wesleyan has just not been able to find a passing attack this year. That Brooks touchdown pass earlier in the game to Elijah Love, the only score of the game for Wesleyan, that was only the second passing touchdown this season for North Carolina Wesleyan. They have got to find some improvement in the offseason. Build for the 23 season. Ooh, catch. That's Verger again from Cotney. Completed to number 14, Verger. Third down and two. Cotney, another, that's kind of an awkward option, but the pitch out works. It gets to Kahari McReynolds. McReynolds has the first Kahari down. McReynolds on the carry will pick up a first down for Huntington. McReynolds out to the 47 yard line. And folks, that is going to be the final play of the third quarter. So three in the books. At the end of the third quarter, the score. Huntington, Huntington put four. 10 on the board Four's in the third quarter. Seven. Huntington will have the ball when we come back for fourth quarter action. One more time, folks. It's the uh, Battling Bishops Ladies Game of the Week on WHIG TV. The winning ticket number for the 50 50 raffle. If you are holding ticket number 0788, right, everyone at home, you are a winner. Once again, the winning ticket number 0. Get ready for seven, the fourth eight, quarter here. Eight, five, one. Let's have you our have quick look, look around the country. Raffle. Please see the cheer coach on the sidelines. One of these teams just ways. coming out of halftime. North Carolina is retaking the lead on Virginia, 17-14. Tulane's added one on Tulsa, 24-10. Kentucky, 14-3 over Missouri. We'd like to thank Travis Kibbett, Bishop Alum, and State Farm. It's Iowa, 24, 24 Purdue. Able to make that first tackle and turning in a nice secondary effort. That's Killingsworth. First down. Move the sticks. be the hunting and drive effectively puts this football game away. Defensively, they have really stifled Wesleyan this evening. Throw out the flat, that's Killingsworth again. Number 11, Killingsworth again on the reception. As heading into the third quarter, folks, they started to find their short passing game, started to get some things going. They looked a lot better in the third quarter than they were earlier in this ball game. Second down and eight. And all that's McReynolds. McReynolds moving the pile forward. Look at that last effort on that run. Kahari McReynolds. He has been a load for anybody today. That will be another Huntington first down. Good size running back, not overly big, 5'10", 190 pounds.
caught. It's Tyler England looking for that second effort, and he does a good job. So England gets that the five yards they lost, plus a couple more. Second down and eight for the Hawks. Garner gets outside. Garner down the sideline. Did he get in? No, they're going to say he stepped out just short of the end zone. Number 28, Troy Garner on the carry. Out of bounds at the two-yard line. First and goal. Garner tried to tightrope the sideline, was unable to do it. First and goal for Huntington. <clears throat> Looks Wesleyan offensively not being able to give that defense much of a break this afternoon. And Huntington have worn them down. They're taking advantage of it. Garner, handoff up the middle. He's fighting forward. He's going to be short of the end zone. Number 28, Garner, again on the carry. <clears throat> It is McReynolds in the backfield. Hand on to McReynolds. He's going to be swarmed. Good job by the Wesleyan defense led by Charles Sias and R.J. Carter, another senior in there making a big play. <clears throat> Along with them. R.J. Carter on the stop. Jalen Thomas, the freshman, in there with them as well. And now it's third down, and they have lost some yards. Ball back on the four-yard line. Throw to the flat, caught, and into the end zone. Touchdown, Huntingdon. Pass complete to the H-back. Ten thirty five remaining in this ball game. Wesleyan in danger of falling to two and seven on the season. Huntington looking to go to eight and one. <clears throat> Kickoff takes a bounce. It will go out of bounds. So Wesley's going to start out the 35-yard line. Kick out of bounds. Wesley will have the ball first and 10 from their own 35-yard line. Final broadcast of the season here for the Battling Bishops. As Wesley will end their regular season next week. They go on the road to Greensboro.
Yes, so we are already making plans for the 2023 season. So we plan to be back with you guys next year. Brooks looks to throw. Brooks steps up. Brooks is in trouble. Slides one tackle. Stays on his feet. <clears throat> and Ray Devin Brooks, quarterback, on the carry. Brooks' ability to keep that alive ends up only losing a yard on the play. And we have a Bishop lineman who is having to get off the field. So that's Elijah Broach, the junior from High Point, Southern Guilford High School. Handoff exploding up the middle is Crank. That was a nice run from Trayvon. <clears throat> Gain about eight yards on that carry. It'll bring up a third down for the Bishops, but a much more manageable third down. It's about as good a run as Wesleyan have had today. Third and two. Brooks looking to throw. Brooks scans. Brooks steps up. He throws underneath. Intercepted. That was in the hands of Jaden Sproul. And the next thing you know, it wasn't in the hands of Jaden Sproul. And a convoy on the way to the end zone. It is a touchdown for Huntington. Miller Park, the senior defensive back from Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Miller Park for Huntington takes it in for the touchdown. A disappointing end to that drive, folks. That ball was in the hands of Jaden Sproul, and I don't know if it bounced out or if Park just took the ball out of his hands. Edwards on to attempt the extra point. <clears throat> Snap, hold, kick is on the way, and it is good. 8.57 to go here in the fourth quarter. Hunting. And uh, 38, North Carolina Wesleyan, 7. Folks, we're going to take our final commercial timeout for WHIG-TV here on the Battling Bishop Game of the Once Week. Again, fans, North Carolina Wesleyan University would like to thank Travis Kibbett, Bishop Alum and State Farm Insurance Agent, for being one of our scoreboard sponsors. Travis Kibbett. All right, guys at home on the live cast. Ooh, Virginia back up 21-17 on North Carolina. It's looking like a good ball game. Florida has taken a third quarter lead on Texas A&M, 27-24. Good ball game going there. Wisconsin, 17-3 up on Maryland. Ooh, didn't really say I'd see that one coming. Western Kentucky beating the brakes off of Charlotte. Virginia Tech up at the half, 20-13 over Georgia Tech. And Ohio State Northwestern still 7-7 with about nine minutes to go in the third quarter. As welcome everyone back here on WHIG TV. So I'm Randy Randelson. We're bringing you the uh, final quarter of uh, Battling Bishops home football for the 2022 season. Deep kickoff, Quentin Wright. Wright going around. Quentin Wright looking for some more running room. Wright has had a few nice returns today. This one's going to get out over the 35. Quentin Wright on the return. Let's see where they're going to end up spotting Mr. Wright. Looks like he's going to get out to, let's give him the 38-yard line. Some nice return. Let's see what the battling Bishops can do this time. Bishops have the ball first and 10 from room 39. Wesleyan scored on their opening drive of the ball game a deep ball from Devin Brooks to Elijah Love. Ever since then, the Wesleyan offense has been – Spurning at best. Hey, 
Handoff going around the left side. That's Miles Martin. Martin is stood up by a whole host of Hawks. Out, Bishop. Eight and a half to go in the fourth quarter. It's 38-7, Huntington over Wesley. So Huntington one point off their season average. Wesleyan has given up their season average plus one now. Brooks, quick throw to Crank in the backfield. Crank trying to get some things going forward. He'll get up to the 45-yard line. <laughs> Third down for the Bishops. Third and four. Actually, on the sideline, Huntingdon looks like they're going to make a change at quarterback going forward. They've got the backup warming up. Handoff, Crank, going around left side. Crank fights his way forward up over the 50. He'll have the first down. Number seven, Trayvon Crank up the middle for a Bishop's first down. Landon Cotney has on now the blue jersey, and he is warming up with the backup quarterback, number 16, Carson Daniel. Looks like he's going to... Come in the ball game the next time Huntington has the football. That's however the quarterback room at Huntington looks, folks. It has been a mash unit type of season for Wesleyan. We have seen multiple starting quarterbacks, multiple guys playing quarterback. Injuries have definitely taken a toll on the Bishops this year at the quarterback position. Flag on the play. This is going to be a false start against Wesleyan. There's one thing you can say about this football game. We have not had have not had a lot of penalties in this game. I'll knock on wood as I say that. First and 15 now for Wesleyan. Six and a half to go. Brooks throws. Caught. And that's Love. He'll duck out of bounds. Pass complete to number 11, Elijah Love. <laughs> Second down. Man in motion is Logan. Brooks, throw, he's going to Love, back, shoulder, nice throw, nice catch. And Love has back-to-back -back catches. Elijah Love, once again with the reception, and he will pick up a Bishop's first down. Nice throw and catch. And here come the Bishops. Ball the 25. Inside handoff, Crank. Crank gets a yard on the carry. Handoff to number seven, Trayvon Crank. Second down. Second down and nine. Love is the man in motion. Brooks goes deep back corner of the end zone. Incomplete pass. Was looking for Caleb Logan. Pass incomplete intended for number 82, Caleb Logan. Third down. Logan and Love have been the two top targets today. <laughs> 
Third down coming up for Wesley. Blitz coming to the corner. He's hit. And they're going to say it was an incomplete pass. Actually incomplete. Agree with that. Arm was coming forward. Fourth down. Devin Brooks never saw the pressure coming. He got hit. He got hit pretty well. It's going to be fourth down. This ball is inside the 24-yard line. Wesleyan going to go for it. 4.37 to go here in the fourth quarter. Wesleyan trail 38-7. Brooks, Brooks steps up, Brooks puts it up, back in the end zone, he's got a man open, touchdown, Chase Corey in the back corner of the end zone. Touchdown, Bishops. That was good protection up front, gave Brooks time for that play to develop, Brooks put it on the money. Chase Corey with the reception. Chase Corey was standing out there all by himself for the touchdown. Second touchdown pass of the game for Wesleyan. Folks, as we mentioned earlier with the offense this year, that's only the third passing touchdown. So you know, Wesleyan has not done a bad job today throwing the football. They've just been inconsistent at times. Snap, extra point on the way. Extra point attempt is Extra point is good. good. Score is now Huntington 38, Wesleyan 14. So it's 38-14, four and a half to go in the ball game. This is not going to be a W on the board for the Battling Bishops today, but that was a really, really nice drive put together by Devin Brooks. Looks a junior. He could be back next season, maybe putting his claim early on to a chance to be the starting quarterback for Wesleyan next season. Chase Corey, now he is not listed as a senior. He's listed as a junior, but he did walk earlier in the senior day presentation. So to be that he's not going to be back next season. So if that is his last big play here at home, nice one for that young man to pick up. So Wesley going to kick it off. And it looks like we will have a timeout on the field. Trying to find the white hat. I didn't see who took that timeout. Wesley and setting up the onside. They do, and that ball will go out of bounds. That was Nolan Wheeloff. Don't know if maybe he was aiming for a player or something, but that one never really hit the ground, took the bounce that you're looking for for an onside kick. And Huntington will take over. Let's see where they're going to spot the football. Well, he's due to where it went out of bounds. 
Ball going to be spotted the 45 yard line Huntington of Westland. Huntington takes over on the 45 yard line, first and 10. All right, folks, and Carson Daniel in the ball game. We've got a few different players in there now for Huntington. Flag on flag. And you can see we have some new ones out there as a false start, false start comes up. Huntington, five yard penalty remains first down. All right, so Carson Daniel under center. He's got number 20, Jalen Pugh, lining up behind him. So the book on Daniel, junior quarterback, 6'2", 190 pounds from Killen, Alabama. <clears throat> Hand off to Pugh. Pugh going right side. He's back at the original line of scrimmage. Gets a few more before he'll go out of bounds. Jalen Pugh, a 5'6", 175-pound senior from Grove Hill, Alabama. Four minutes remaining on this one. And off in the middle again, that's Pew. He fights his way forward. Number 20, Pew, once again on the carry. I believe he is going to be short of the first down. Third down. It's third down and three. Daniel keeps it. Daniel throws down the flat. Caught. And it will be a first down for Huntington. The receiver on the outside. That's 87. Connor Cash, a freshman from Mentone, Alabama. Cash the reception. He picks up a first down for Huntington. And that'll move the sticks for the Hawks. 2.53 to go. Clock is running. Quick throw outside. Caught. That's Cash again. Cash is hit. Number 87, Cash, once again on the reception. Tim Carmichael, the safety out of Charlotte, North Carolina, with the tackle. Minimal gain on the play. Second down coming up for Huntington. Daniel on the keeper. <clears throat> Around left side for a few yards. Clot runs minute for him. Daniel on the keeper. <clears throat> Third down. Side handoff, Pew. Pew goes around right side. And he'll be stopped by a group of gold helmets. And under one minute remaining. <clears throat> so folks, Battling Bishop's going to go to two and seven on the year. They'll be two and four in the USA South. Huntington moving to eight and one. They'll be six and oh in conference play. So they'll play next week for a perfect conference regular season. Perfect conference record, we'll say. Daniel, handoff. 
Pew, not going to get much of anything going there on fourth down. And Wesleyan will stop. They'll get the ball back. One final time with 29 seconds remaining. Wesleyan will take over on downs. Huntington hosting LaGrange next Saturday to end their regular season before getting ready for, you would assume, the Division Three playoffs. Actually, I don't know how the D3 playoffs work. They might make it. We'll see. Wesleyan heading to Greensboro next week will end their season. The fourth straight loss for Wesleyan. They'd like to end that streak before packing it up for 2022. Brooks. Brooks steps up. Brooks. And he will be dropped. 20 seconds, man. Let's see if Wesleyan tries to hurry it up for one more. seconds remaining. And folks, it looks like that is going to do it. Final score here from the Vernon T. Bradley Jr. Stadium. Huntington 38, North Carolina Wesleyan 14. Folks, it looked like a hot start from both teams. It looked like we might have gotten a shootout today. But then Huntington really stepped it up. In the uh, especially in the second half, really stepped up defensively and offensively. They get the job done. They get the win. Honestly, and that ends the uh, home portion of their season. So they end up one and three at home. So two and seven on the season now. Two and four in conference play. All right, folks, big thanks to today's game sponsors, Piedmont Service Group, Brain Specialty, Bozeman Farms, BSN Sports, Taylor Financial Strategies, the Keith Stone for Sheriff Re-Election Campaign. Remember, folks, that Election Day is Tuesday. Get out there, make your voice heard, and, hey, vote for Keith Stone for Sheriff. Folks, of course, Pepsi, nothing better on a hot <laughs> November day than <laughs> ice cold Pepsi. All right, folks, that is going to do it for us. Uh, I've enjoyed bringing you the uh, home games here for Wesleyan here in 2022. We'll see what 2023 holds in store. But, folks, you can look for Battling Bishops football right back here next season. All right, guys, for Robbie Morris up there on the camera, I'm Randy Randelson. You guys uh, be good or just be good at it.